Hello there, everybody. I wanted to show off a thing for you today. NVIDIA has a fork, branch, whatever you want to call it, of the Unreal Engine that has DLSS built in. They have a sample scene included that has everything set up so uh, DLSS works. It, I've modified the, the scene a little bit, added some things to it, like this, uh, a couple of these lights, that text. I've changed some things around. I added this whole other room out here. I got, um, when you go out into this section, it loads a new post-process volume that enables a global illumination because that's the main thing I'm showing off here, but every feature is enabled. Uh, you have reflections, global illumination, ambient occlusion, uh, everything basically. Um, and right now I'm just kind of just showing you the things that are using up, up the most frame time to calculate. Um, and I can't really show what DLSS does in the editor. So after I'm done going through all of this, uh, I will actually load up the executable and show you what DLSS is able to do for you for the performance, you know, in full screen 1080p. You can see that in this room, the reflections seem to use up the most of the frame time, and that makes sense because there's a couple bounces of the reflections going on. So you could see the reflections of the reflections in the reflection because you know you got two reflective things next to each other so let's load up the executable full screen and i'm going to get into a, a position here so we can put it back to taa you know the usual stuff in uh unreal engine we're getting about 30, what is that, 20. I'm going to enlarge the FPS counter for you in uh, the video editor I'm using. So you can see that a little bit better. But you can see performance is pretty crap with everything going on here. And this is on a 8700K at 5 gigahertz and also a 2070 Super. See how really awesome the, the global illumination looks. And then, at, you know, at the end of the, the this little room, the tunnel, you got the little sample thing there that I built. This is a fun thing to, to work on, by the way. Uh, able to mess around with DLSS finally is really cool. And right now I'm just screwing around because I wanted that ball to be where it is. And then I realize uh, I should probably just relaunch the thing so it's back to the usual position so we could do a better comparison. And that's what I do. So now that it's relaunched, let's uh, see what DLSS does. Put it in performance mode. I'm not going to get into the technicals of what the differences are between the performance, balanced, and quality modes right now. But I'm pretty sure you can make your own mind up by just seeing visually what it looks like right now in this video, which I've recorded very high quality, no chroma subsampling, lossless video. Obviously, that's, that's you know, what's going into the editor, but, you know, I'll export X265, so that's what you'll see on YouTube. Um, but balanced... And performance help a whole lot. I'm um, basically make the, make the visuals that you're seeing in this playable. Before it was not playable. It was under 30 most of the time. You know, like 35 and under frames per second. And now it's way over 60. And look how good it looks. So you put it back to TAA. There we go. We're hovering right about around 30. Put it up to balanced. Get double the frame rate, and we're getting about 
60, 65, 68, 70. Out here, we're getting over 100 for a little bit, and then it goes down because it switches the post-process volume to enable global illumination, blah, blah, blah. But you see, right there, like 30 frames per second with TAA. See, it's all jittery and bad. Let's put it on balanced. Now it's nice and smooth. Double the frame rate. I basically think that if you're making a game with Unreal Engine, use this branch. There's no reason not to. I'm going to be messing around with this a whole lot more. Um, I might link to the executable so you could test this yourself. But yeah, I hope this was interesting or something. And uh, yeah, I'll just let the video that I recorded uh, move around the camera a bit. And I'll say bye here. Bye.